Now it's time to cast the spotlight on some feisty female detectives. The Bletchley Circle was one of the biggest dramas of last year. It followed the lives of four former Bletchley Park workers. Well, the good news is the women have been reunited for a second run, so we went behind the scenes to find out how they're getting on. My name's Ian Atkinson. I'm the second assistant director on the Bletchley Circle. Today we are filming five scenes, um, which totals about seven pages of the script, and seven pages of the script equates to approximately seven minutes of screen time. It's so lovely to be part of a show that it's about four women. A typical day is we, we all sort of arrive bedraggled in the morning, <laughs> and uh, we get into makeup and then the giggling starts. Usually you also get picked up very early in the morning, too early. Um, and then because we use all the rollers and everything, so it takes a lot longer setting the hair and doing all the makeup and all of that stuff. I don't have any makeup, so my makeup takes all of about five minutes. The makeup truck is a really fun place to be, especially you can imagine with the four of us all sort of sat there. It's gossip central. The other girls take hours. Action! And then we got onto set and we had to do more giggling and we do a bit of acting and then we do more giggling and then we do. <laughs> more active. I mean, it's, it is an absolute hoot. And you sit down with the director, so you sort of rehearse and then you fine tune it and then you show it to the crew and then you just start shooting it. So it's quick, it's fast paced. Why aren't you girls working? Sorry, Miss McBride, but there's a German. Jean was in charge of the girls at Bletchley Park during the war. She sort of oversaw all the information that was gathered from all the women. She was the kind of, I suppose, the, the mother figure in a way looked after the girls. She's very stern and she's very well organised, she's very practical, she's very resourceful. My initial attraction to the project was because I just thought it was, it was different. Obviously it was four very strong women um, and they were just great stories. Oberleutnant von Diedrich, 7th of January, reassignment. Berlin Central to 25th Infantry Division, effective immediately. I play Lucy, who is the youngest of the four, and I think when you first met her, she was she was very sweet and naive, and she was in a very troubled marriage, and was sort of quite repressed. She's sort of blossomed quite a lot. She's she dresses differently, and she's got this new life and this new kind of steeliness about her, this new strength. When I first got the job, so this is last year, I remember thinking, code breaking, great. So I went on YouTube and thought I'd just try and learn how to do all the code breaking, which is obviously a terrible idea because I just didn't understand it at all. You know, these are incredibly brilliant minds that you're pretending to be. And that's the wonderful thing about the show is, I think that's what's so appealing is just seeing these brilliant minds and they go at such a pace and they bounce off each other. So for us mere mortals, it sort of takes a while. So you just have to sit down and make sure you understand what's happening and then kind of Act. <laughs> and can I just see Nick in his final position? Please. I play Ben Gladstone, who uh, works at Scotland Yard, where Lucy's just taken a job, and she's a clerical support officer there, and they're having a nice little flirtation and you know, like budding romance. And I think in that typical kind of 1950s way, he un completely underestimates her. But it's very sweet. They're both very sweet together. All right, let's reset everything then, please. Stand by. So, in series two, all our regulars are back, um, but we've, we've moved on a year in terms of their lives. I think what's interesting is to delve in, find your stories rather than just find your decoration in your period. I think that's when it's most exciting because what you realise is that some of them are very different. And there was capital punishment in 53, which we don't have now. There were also a lot of displaced people in Europe. Europe was very uncertain. It was still adjusting after the war. And the producers were very keen in this series particularly that we do embrace that slight transition so we're not in a brown wartime world. The Bletchley Circle being a period drama can be time consuming, but it you create such a different look and it's a different world that it's, it's, it's removed from what your experiences are, so it's a really lovely thing to see once you get them all on set. It's just stepping into a different world. We're at a fantastic location today in Roehampton. We're actually here all week, and um, it's a, an early Georgian house. So having this mix of architecture in one space, again, makes for a very friendly schedule, really, for production. And it's just uh, afforded us great opportunities. The smoking was very prevalent, so in every set we've got ashtrays, there are period bottles in there, 
and we even put coloured liquid in the decanter so it looks like there is port and whiskey and all that sort of stuff in there. So you need the detail to make it feel real. As an actor, it makes it so much easier, actually, because this amazing world is created not only with sets and with costume and with makeup. Um, so it's much easier to then immerse yourself in that world and imagine what it was like then. And you know, our mantra on the show is, we want great period detail, but only if it's in the story. And if it is in the story, chuck it out. It's just a different ethos for the show. It, it goes quite quickly, like the machines of Bletchley themselves. So moving forward, carrying on with the rehearsal, action. There's not that many sort of leading male parts, so the, the balance is very different. I feel completely outnumbered by them, but I kind of like that. And they're loud and funny and silly. Every day is just sort of joking around, really. No one plays any tricks, but there's a lot of giggling, and there is a, <laughs> there is a lot of definitely trying to sort of keep it together. I'm sure we get on the director's nerves because a lot of... It's probably a lot of time wasted. Shouldn't tell you this is a secret. Um, just with uh, the show. But the thing is, if you if you can't come to work and have a laugh, it, there's you know it, there's kind of no point in being here really. I mean, it's it's a wonderful job. It's, apparently on Twitter, we're known as hashtag Lady Nerds, <laughs> which uh, I'm really pleased to be a lady nerd. What really struck me is we were filming at Bletchley Park recently. These women were there and this is their story and it's amazing to be... It's like playing make-believe. You get to really pretend to be those people and bring it back to life in a really special way. And that's basically what we do all day. And, yeah, and then, and then we rap and then we're... And then we'll have wine. <laughs> <laughs>